Hey guys, as you know, my name is Marcel Ernie. This is my buddy Robert, aka Morelux717. And uh, we're about to go out on the Friday track day, Friday testing with AFM, racers only. And of course, this is Merlin, and that is Project Morpheus, Robert's new supermoto. And so we've been using my sweet ass digital gauge. We've calculated right now the warmers temperature on the warmers. We're going out with 35.1, 25 for Robert. Track temp is 103, 65 Fahrenheit in the shade. So we're gonna rock out there, and as you can see, I'm rocking out the Amsoil uh, rider training vest that I ordered up. And uh, I'm going back and riding my Pikes Peak SR1. Somebody was asking, yes, this is the older gen, now it's the SR2. The SR2 is what Robert is wearing right now. I, I got him an SR2, ordered it up. I'm a Schubert dealer if anybody's looking for helmets in North America. All right, we'll get back at you guys when we get back and check in pressures. 63 ambient temp. Let's double check that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, ambient temp is a little cooler, guys. All right, Robert, while well, we got your pressures in, you uh, on your front, you lost two PSI on the front. Sorry, guys, I'm yelling. And he lost one PSI in the rear. He's running uh, steady 90s in his front and steady 100s Fahrenheit. Getting the warmers on. Clean up that, uh, that tire. So you're probably wondering what I was trying to tell you out there, huh? Oh, no, you were just telling me I was... Uh just body position, get my butt over. It's not that you weren't setting up for the corner, it's that you were going center between every corner. 90% oh. of the time you would go center and then you'd set up yeah. when you should just leave your butt on the one side. So between like, you know, whatever it is, like yeah, four, yeah, five, yeah. six, it's all yeah. right. Yeah. You would go right, yep. then you'd go center, and then you'd go right, then you'd go center. And I'm like, no, no, no. Just stay right. And yeah. then when you switch over from the right to the left, you would go right, center, and then you'd go left. And I was like, okay, we need to go from right to complete left. There's no center in the equation anymore, right? So that's something that uh, we need to work on. Yeah, well, right now, that's too much. Yeah, plus the the track, right? So uh, what did the lap give you some laps here, hopefully? The latest lap timer. 220 if that's the same session I'm not sure this wasn't the same as last session right so we've got two 20s in a row um, oh yeah because and then you did a 20 before in the best one you did a, a 20 and a 24 okay so you did two consistent 20s so far in a row which is good okay let's get a little review here Robert so your pressure's on the warmers, you know, 30, 20 on the front, on the rear as well. After, you're in the mid-90s and you're in the mid-100s, right? Yeah. You started with 35, you dropped 2 PSI in the front and you dropped 1 PSI in the rear. So the rear's pretty good. Front-wise, we could say get the front up to 100 and have it not change PSI so much. So we're going to drop your front pressure to 34 now in the front. Change number two is, you know, something to consider is having more early setup and stay on one side of your bike. Yep. No side, center, side. So those are the two things that we're going to get you on and plus learning the track. Ready to rock out. Yeah. Hey, Moralix. So how's the SR2 fitting? Good. Yeah, it fits real good. Looks really nice too. When are you going to get some stickers on it? You need some custom graphic like your Caterpie. Oh. And we're back. 
Morpheus rocking out there on the moto track. He kind of looks like an alien on a spaceship, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, I'm going to check tire pressures. Let's get it rocking out. And tire temperature. 218 best. Yeah, I went, uh, you see when I went off track? On that session? Yeah. Well, I waited for you. I wasn't quite sure if you what happened, but you yeah. went... Oh, okay. oh, the lap timer wasn't. We're coming up that hill on the back where the corner worker is. Yeah. A little rise. And the blind down to the yeah, right. Yeah. And I, I was coming off of that hill, and um, I went in to lean into the right, and I must have the moved, mo moved my wrist just a little bit, and, and it, then, whoop. It, 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 it did a little juice of throttle, and it like threw me mm. off track. A little bit sensitive. Interesting, because I didn't, I didn't have the issues out there, but. Uh, well, we will we'll pull the RCK3 out and we'll recalibrate it and we'll see if we can fix it. Otherwise, how'd you feel? You, I went two seconds faster that lap, or you did most likely because I was following you. So we're down to 218s. Well, your lap timer didn't get turned on though. Oh, I'm upside down. Let's try this again, guys. So Robert lost two PSI in the front from down to 32 but still had a mid and middle 90 Fahrenheit temps. Rear lost one, so that's right on par. So we're gonna drop the front now to a 33 unless the track temperature comes up. 106 track temperature. Where is my device? In the shade, 60, oh, it's dropping a little bit. 104, 104. Well, check it out, guys. I just went out there for a little solo run. Was uh, out there playing with Shalina. On a, she's on her R1, and I tried to take this bold tire to a whole bunch of little, little rubber balls. <laughs> Let's check out how much uh, traction I got left in here. So that's where the dimple was. There's your center dimples. There's the right. So I got right, but I'm out there on a completely bald left. And the front's got, I don't know, 500 laps on it from all the rider training from last year and this year. I don't even know where the marks are. I don't even see any. Let me try to see what kind of temperature I got in there. Oh, wrong mode. I'm gonna change these out. 92. In the center, 93. And 96, let's check the back. On the right, 90, 103 center, 112, and the left, 118. All right. Woo. You guys have been missing all the action because I can't film at the same time as I'm dirt biking. <laughs> I was dirt biking the whole outside perimeter of the track on the rear wheel, and she, I'll have to go ask Shalina about it. She said she was on track working with somebody, uh, her friend, and she saw me wheeling by the whole track. So we'll go find her and ask her about that. Oh, R1? R6. Oh, they're all looking the same. It's hard I to know. tell. Oh, they're looking similar. Yeah, did you have fun out there in the last session? Uh, it's getting better. It's my first time here. Oh, first time at Bun Willow. And you're racing in the expert group, right? Yes. <laughs> so you've been doing this for a long time, so no, what do you think of- year. What do you think of Bun Willow? It's fun. It's like a Sonoma and Thunder Hill had a baby. <laughs> well, you you like it more than me then. I, I don't like the curbs here. You're always afraid of the curbs. They're a little slippery. Yeah, There's slippery. There's only one spot I feel comfortable in. And they're pretty tall, you know. Tall. I mean, Thunder Hill has bad curbs too, but at least the track's a little wider, it seems. Yeah. A little wider. Yeah, it's not bad. Bike, I like your... Uh, your oh, it's all vinyl? No. Yeah. Vinyl over no, black. No, that's not. That's just paint. But this is vinyl. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, you're, what class is you racing this weekend? Uh, AFM 600 Super Stock. Okay. So, you have like three races maybe? And then Formula One. So, two on Saturday, one on Sunday? One Saturday, two Sunday. Two Sunday. Perfect. Perfect. And so, everybody, oh, what's your name? Oh, I'm Lexi. Lexi what? Ferrera. Ferrera. Sorry? Ferrera. Ferrera. Do you have a brother named Ferrera? Yeah. There you go. That's, must have heard that too. Anyways, yeah. Lexi. There you go. Yeah. Anybody coming? No, you're good.